First down, they're going to hand to Davis. Mike left side at the 10. Mike 5. Mike, touchdown Atlanta. Hey there, Falcons fans. I am DJ Shockley. We appreciate you joining me every single week for Falcons Film Review powered by Microsoft Surface. And let's talk about a couple plays in this ball game, and let's jump right into a really good play, the touchdown by Mike Davis. Now, the Falcons did a really good job running in the first half over 100 yards versus the top-ranked rush defense in the entire National Football League. And let's talk about how they got it done. Now, this is a simple inside zone here. All it is, inside zone here, lead up on the backer, but I want to talk about the big guys up front, how they were able to get this. What makes this play so important, what makes it so good is watch these guys here. These three guys here, all four guys here on the outside. Now, you get a little seal block on the outside, but where I really want to focus on is these guys up here. As we pause it here, going here. So this is a reach block. He has to get all the way on this side of this defensive tackle here. And you see, he's head up the center. You're wondering, how does he get over there? He does such a great job of reaching to get over here. You're going to get another reach block here. So you almost want to put his butt to the sideline so it creates a nice hole for Mike Davis to run through. Now, fullback Keith Smith does a nice job. He feels through on this backer here. And then you're going to get the center up, and he already has a good angle to block that middle linebacker on this particular play here. So I'm going to show you as it gets going how these guys – look at this. Now we're reaching. Everybody's going. Everybody's going this way. You see, everybody's reaching this way for this outside zone. This is one of the staples of Arthur Smith's offense, outside zone, reach block, reach block. He's going to get a seal here. Now you got the angle to block this guy. Now look at look at Mayfield getting the reach block. He's going to get his butt to the sideline this way. Now you close out here. Now you got your fullback leading up on this linebacker, and it's going to create a huge, nice hole here. Boom. Look at these blocks. Butt to the sideline. Nice reach block here. Butt to the sideline here. Got the angle on him. Now all you have is Keith Smith coming through here, seeking out that linebacker, and now you can see the hole already opening up for Mike Davis to run through. Nice job up front by this offensive line, reach blocking. And then the last part of this, look at Zacchaeus up here at the top. This is 15, 20 yards down the field, and he is blocking his guy into the end zone. If it's not for this block, he does not score. He continues to fight, 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 and then Mike Davis finishes the run. Tough, physical. This is what it takes in the run game if you want to be successful. All guys doing their part, but those guys up front, the big boys paving the way, and then the receivers on the outside blocking as well. All right, let's jump into a touchdown play that the Bucks had in this ball game where they throw it to their tight end, tight end, break it on a little kind of like flat route. But I'm going to show you how he was able to get so open on this play. Now, down here on the goal line, we're in man coverage here. You see man right here. You're going to have man coverage right here, corner here. Here's the safety who has the tight end here. But because of the route that they run, it forces like a little mini pick, I call it. You're going to have a play action here where you get a naked bootleg here coming across. They want to get flow here to get the eyes going in the backfield. But the thing that's most important about what the Bucks do is these two guys right here, they go vertical. So when they go vertical, it forces this guy to go over the top. When he goes over the top, it creates a mini pick for their particular receivers. And then you're going to have Brait, who's just going to slide right out here. On the outside. Now you're asking, what's going on with Deion Jones? Well, Deion Jones on this particular play, he's contained. He's got contained for the quarterback when he comes out here or the back comes. So he happens to do, he happens to fall into it. So here's the, the first part of this play. Now you see both these guys going vertical. So now you're already creating a natural pick here. Here's, I told you, he has them in man coverage. Over the top. Now he's going to get vertical. Now they're kind of creating a wall here and forcing him to go over the top and go all the way around. And all they want to do is hit him quickly right through here. Now you see Dion's eyes. His eyes is in the backfield. He's got contained. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to do. And now the play continues a little bit more. Now here's that natural pick here. He went vertical. He's had a little stop right here. But now because he went vertical as well, he's trying to fight through it this way. But you can see because of all the traffic here, he gets a nice little crease to pop into right here, and it creates this nice window to throw on the outside. Now, Dion does a nice job of trying to fall off into it, but it's not really his job. He's supposed to keep contained. He does a really good job of trying to force the issue here because he knows his guy is getting picked right here, and you see him fall, and now he has a step on Dion and also on the safety. That's a well-drawn-out play by the Bucks. They did a good job of pushing those two guys vertical, which forced our guy to go over the top which ultimately created a pick and the easy throw and touchdown for the Tampa Bay Bucks. All right, we hope to see you guys next week. 
I am DJ Shockley for Falcons Film Review, and we'll see you next time.